hi welcome back to rebecca's travels so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi hi is everybody okay i hope everybody's as well as possible uh, today i'm going to be doing um travel news uk five exciting facts november 2023 uh, part four um, if you're new to my channel please subscribe um, I would love more subscribers and uh, please share um, if possible as well and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so um, also when you subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload the weather in uh, Colville um, in North West Leicestershire is um, well it's gone cold and now it's um autumn uh, time um it's still light out there um but um it's dry it's not been raining today um so it's as well as it can be um so i'm going to jump right into the uh, five fabulous facts kicking off with uh, number one with, with the independent got co uk the uk government introduces electronic travel authorization scheme next month um is to expect it's expected to uh, launch the 25th of october with um non visa national international travelers uh, required to obtain a di um, a digital permission to travel so even if you don't require a, a visa um inter national international travelers um, will have to obtain a digital permission to travel um, in the uk uh, number two um the sun.co.uk taking off at uh, uk airport gets 60 million boost it says will transform travel for passengers um a brand new transport um, hub will uh, be built at bristol airport um the upgrades will be both safer and uh, more accessible for uh, passengers um, according to the government there will also be a new multi-storey car park and uh, which will provide uh, more than 2,000 spaces parking spaces and will include the state-of-the-art techn technology and blue badge parking so again Bristol Airport is going to have more uh, parking um, which again is good news um, uh, because you're not going to be stuck uh, to find a, a parking space if you want to park at Bristol Airport um, so I hope that goes as well as possible this or the 60 million boost uh, for passengers number three express dot co.uk the best time to visit the prettiest village in england is october as ivy turns a fairy red among the quarant village in the uk this is what the the quarant village is name is da 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 castle coombe in the the Cotswolds is constantly crowned the prettiest at uh, village um, the authentic site is um, consistent consistently re reviewed uh, for its unparalleled charm picturesque houses and fairy tale like atmosphere so if you're looking for somewhere to uh, visit and um, in the autumn then this is the best time to visit and um, and um it's called the village is called castle at uh, coombe in the cotswolds 
and um, coming in at uh, number four well well done to Castle Coombs in the Cotswolds but at fact number four express.co.uk the UK's beach is a quiet beach and uh, blue waters like the Caribbean a quiet coastal village in Scotland uh, both stunning beaches that are uh, said to revival at uh, those of the Caribbean the village is named the da, da, da Barora excuse my pronunciation but it's spelled B R O R A it's a small industrial uh, village in the east of Sutherland in the high in the Highland area of Scotland which is supposed to be very beautiful anyway it looks absolutely stunning on photos absolutely stunning it is known for its a variety of local crafters and um, artists makers and specialists that provide a unique shopping experience the real highlight um, are its nearby beaches which are quiet and scenic so if you're looking for a place to visit it um, that has got quiet and scenic beaches nearby and a, a generally a very beautiful village yet again and um, the, uh, then the village of Brora is ideal place to uh, go and visit especially if you're looking for a day out or um, etc now um, the last fabulous fact coming in at number five da 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 which is express.co.uk uk village really is a jewel in the crown for pembrokeshire in wales south wales a uk village has been duped as the jewel in the crown for pembrokeshire thanks to it's not only its natural beauty but its um, facilities and um, amenities and attractions the village is da 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 salava s a l v a located on the north side of saint brides bay in north pembrokeshire is a jewel in the crown for uh, Pembrokeshire according to a trip advisor reviewer and um, Hazelwood um, pronounced the destination as welcoming and dog friendly so if you're you've got a dog to take on holiday then this is the ideal place to an ideal place to take it um, while it has a lot of um, variety of amenities um, you can shop for anything um, you need and um, more including fresh crab for locals people that like uh, to go to the seaside and have crab then again it's an ideal location um, because the locals um, at, at source it um, and ma at make it um, at very friendly live music there's also bingo night lovely shop windows the harbour in um, pub um, gives a good basic feel at food welcoming and dog friendly also at a, a, a super boat trip um, with acrophobia there's a car park 
cheap but it is busy so it all helps if you're traveling by car that it's cheap but it is busy uh, there is is um, an early lovely walk around the harbour when the tide is out at the cliff coast near saliva is popular with a tourist who enjoy um hiking and amateur and professional geo logics alike so um there's uh, five fantastic brand new facts and some ideas and um, also for holidays uh, for you for this year or next year um, when you're wishing to travel um, if you're looking to come to the UK or you are a resident of the UK wanting to visit somewhere else so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you on Saturday uh, for a budget travel special please keep watching and have a good night and day wherever you are in the world thank you and bye for now thank you bye